we can break down barriers and make it easier to do business. That does not just mean offering our own incentives, as Britain is doing with the lowest corporation tax in the G7, with export finance and tax breaks for those undertaking research and development in Britain. It means helping each other to break down the barriers to trade and investment in and between our countries. So that is why the UK is working side by side with Prime Minister Modi in its mission to make it easier to do business in India, for example by strengthening intellectual property rights and paving the way for our world leading services sector to operate in the Indian market, benefiting India and the UK alike. But I am determined that we will go further. I will be discussing with Prime Minister Modi how we can increase the detail and depth of our trade and investment discussions and identify what more we can do now to unleash our businesses, industries, exporters and investors. This does not need to wait for us to leave the EU. We must also recognise that it is not just the legal frameworks that are essential for effective trade and investment. It is people too. It is crucial that those who do need to travel between our countries for business can do so. That is the reason why, when I was Home Secretary, I made the visa process for Indians much easier. India now has one of the best UK visa services in the world, with more application points than any other country, and the only country where it is possible to get a same-day visa. That happened because we listened to what businesses were saying. And we're still listening, listening to the fact that so many people from India want to bring their ideas, skills and business to Britain for the good of your economy and ours. So we will offer, for the first time to any country that needs visas to enter Britain, what is called the Registered Traveller Scheme. That means that for Indian nationals who frequently come to the UK and who fuel growth in both our countries, the entry process will become significantly easier. Fewer forms to fill out, access to the EU EEA passport control, swifter passage through our airports. In short, more opportunities for Britain and India and a clear message that Britain is very much open for business. To conclude, I want to return to that argument I was making about the importance of free trade and investment. For we need to make this case around the world, not only to make our countries more prosperous, but to make them more stable and secure too. The UK and India can play a big role in that. We can lead the way, so even more nations can share in those things. That is one of the many things that through this partnership between our countries, I hope Prime Minister Modi and I, and indeed everyone in the room, can help to achieve. Thank you.